Hey! Here we go, boy. And what's really incredible is that wasn't a mirror, but when he started that set. Yeah. He wrote things down on a board. Yeah. And then he drew a perfect picture of you. It was amazing. I like because he said he was even practicing in his room, you know, that trick. But the trick is mostly just him asking somebody questions. So you think he's just alone in his room just being like, hey, Armoire, what's your deal? And he's showing a mirror to someone else. Yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty much the whole thing. Cool. Who's ready for some more names? Yeah. Yeah. Before we bring up your next act, we're going to pick the next round of names. Would you like you to know, start chant, we love names. We got chant. We love names. We love names. Our next, our name after our next act is gonna be Tyler Hartley, everybody. Woo! Yeah. Tyler, are you here? Yeah. He's in the front there. I'll call you up after your next act. Are you here to put your name in the bucket? Hell yeah. Right. That's a good move. Nice, nice. All right. Next up, we're gonna have a variety act. We're gonna have uh, Zilio Pissarro. Fuck yeah. Woo! Room favorite. And after that. Closing our second round of names, we're gonna have Brandon Corrigan, everybody! Brandon here? You here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brandon's here. All right, but in the meantime, we got uh, a comedian, I haven't seen him in a long time. Make some noise for, for a side kid, everybody! I'm going to uh, say something very horrible. <laughs> so hold on tight. <laughs> Well, before I have to go on, uh, how many women are here? I mean, are there any women here? <laughs> yes! Woo! There's two women, from what I hear, so, because I don't want to make any assumption. <laughs> how many women here like soft boy? <laughs> like soft boy as in no muscle, tiny, weak, boy. <laughs> Are you asking how many women are pedophiles here? No. Not underage, not underage. How many women love a sub boy? No? Okay. But, but my dog is a sub boy. He's a weakling. And he knows it. He's tiny, he has short legs, he can't climb, he can't breathe. <laughs> but we, women love him because he's so cute. But uh, in that tiny body is a lot of rage. Because he always wants to have sex. Because I didn't cut his ball. Because <laughs> man to man, cutting his ball feels like cutting my ball. So I didn't cut his ball. And he's always horny. And... It's my request, should I let him fuck, should I let him have sex? Raise your hand if you think I should fulfill his lifelong wish before he died to have sex. No! Not with me, but with a female dog. I mean, female dog. In order to... I don't think he is capable of mounting a female on his own. So I will have to pick him up like... Da -da 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 -da. Helicopter, 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 and then I land him on a female. Then push... Da -da 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 -da. I probably have to hold on to the he uh, hold down the female. Oh. <laughs> but how do you get the consent from female dog? How? How? Is there any like dog whisperer here? Because my dad was a breeder, okay? He was a breeder. And when I was young, no, I didn't know dog has pussy. <laughs> I have to hold the penis of a dog to make sure it, it doesn't slide out. It's not natural, Dad. It's not natural. If he's not capable of mounting a female on his own, it's not meant to be. Then my dad would smack me like, stop, just listen. And then I hold on to this, this penis. My hand is between the, his ball and, and her pussy and I thought puppy come out of her asshole. That's what I thought. So for people who said, Okay, I should fulfill his lifelong wish of having sex. Theoretically, you are a rapist. <laughs> and it's not a rape joke. You can't do a rape joke in comedy bar. So this is uh, animal right jokes. <laughs> 
So last week I choked a woman. Uh, I told you I was going to say something horrible. You thought it was a dog. So I went to a bar. I talked talk to our ladies and I make her laugh and she laughed and she laughed and I reached out my hands very slowly. I think she could see it, but I, she kept laughing and then I, and I keep joking around and then and, 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 and I, 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 I choked her. Then we keep on going with the conversation like nothing happened. Because uh, I just want to show her I'm uh, not a soft boy. I'm a, I'm a difficult boy. A boy with an edge. So, uh, am, I, am, I, am I done? Am I done? Am I done? Uh, over? Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. That is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah. I can't wait till there's an ad in a bulletin board that says, please fuck my dog. Comedy's the only place where you could go and tell people you forced a dog to fuck another dog as a boy because your dad forced you to do that and people will laugh and clap. Yeah, yeah but he's really working through a lot of trauma, it seems yeah. like. But, hey, you know, God love him. I hope his dog comes. <laughs> Can I? Oh, that's weird. That's what we're.